Hello there, today I'm going to tie a CDC caddis uh, in black. Uh, in the vise already is a Vivara's dry fly hook, it's a size 12. And we're going to be using the UTC 70, the lighter of the two UTC threads. Uh, and I'm going to first of all cast my thread onto the hook. Just remove my pig's tail. I'm going to use the full length of the shank for this. First thing I'm going to do is use Caddis Green Ice Dub. Just get that on there. And then I'm going to use the black iced up again. I really like this dubbing material, it's uh, got a lot going for it, it goes onto the thread very easily. So, cut that in. come all the way up. I'll probably use just a little bit too much. Just strip that away. Pull the ring back and just have a little tidy up. Now at the the wing of this fly I'm going to use natural CDC. Now depending on the, the hook you're using, this is a fairly heavy hook for a dry, I suppose. Yeah, I'm using four or five plumes. I'm going to bring it up just to get my distance right. Swap hands over and then trim it away. Now I'm going to dress that to the hook. A little pinch loop to hold it in. Pull it back slightly. Then just lock in the remainder. Now you can see I'm, I'm a good couple of inches, but uh, sorry, good distance back from the eye of the hook here. Um, and there's a good reason for that. There's still quite a lot to happen at the front of the fly. Uh, I'm going to use some flat foam. This comes in the, the kiddie shape bags. You can get it for Toys R Us. Um, you get a big massive bag, different colours, and it costs a pound, other than going to the tying shops where they rip you off. Basically, use your um, second best pair of snips for this. Uh, take off a small oblong piece, you can see here, and just get rid of the sharp corners on one end. So what you're left with is this V shape. Now what this is meant to do is help you sight your fly easier when you're fishing. Now you've got to be very careful here as I've found several times. It's not the strongest thread in the world this and you don't want to make it too tight. Now I can see that and it's a little bit big for my needs. So I'm just going to come in and take a little bit of it away. That's better. Now to finish off the front of the fly, I'm going to use a little bit of CDC dub. Now the way I'm going to create that, I'm going to take a CDC feather and I'm going to use this Mark Pettigeon tool to catch it in. You've probably seen these before. Um, handy bit of kit. I just trim up with the scissors uh, and box your uncle. Before the Mark Pettigeon 2, of course, there was the Bulldog Clip Mark 1. Did exactly the same job and was a damn sight cheaper. But, you know, my wife was kind enough to buy me this for Christmas, so I'm going to use it. Catch it in. And I'll just do this off camera. All I'm doing is cutting up to the stem. And I've got a little piece now. Now for the tricky part, I can put that to the side. I've got to open up my UTC thread. Which 
generally is easy when you're not on the camera. So just bear with me. There we go. So I've split the thread and I've got a gap in that now. I can bring in my tool once I release it then it's just a case of spinning it up nice and tight then I can come in with the dub I'm going to pull everything to the rear and then just a couple of half edges to finish and you can see that the yellow post is quite prominent Bottom varnish on the head. Now you have to be careful here not to clog up the CDC feathers. So I've just pulled them all to the rear and just ever so slightly. Tiny little bit of varnish at the front of the fly. And last thing to do then is just make sure your fly is clear pop a, an old feather through. There's too many long straggly bits. Pluck them away. And there you have your CDC Caddis Black. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.